design. All right, now check this out. I'm with Allie, and Allie Hi. makes quilts. And this is an officially licensed OSU quilt. Look at that. And I, I don't know how much detail is like you can see up here. Why don't you tell me about the quilt? Like, what do you do? I mean, it's like, I, I know grandmothers that make quilts. I don't know young people that make quilts. <laughs> yeah, my mother-in-law and I, we have a business. It's called Ghosts and Quilting. And we make these quilts. We also have several other designs. Um, every single quilt is handmade. We hand-pieced all of this. So, if you can see these little lines here, every single one of those little pieces we put together. And then... Oh, once, every... like these... Every little square, every little... All those little strips were all sewn together by us. How long does that take? Um, that one actually takes, I mean, you can do it in a couple days if, if that's all you're doing, but really it takes a couple weeks. Really? Okay. Yeah. This is a baby quilt, you know, for, for your little cow pokes. Okay. See, this is what it looks like when it's just a top before it's quilted. That's cute. And then, um... We also make these table runners. And now, I, what's a table? Oh, yeah, it just goes. It, it goes down the length of your table, and then you put my your, wife, Mrs. Op, would know. Mrs. Op would would know. But Mrs. Um, Op would I notice embroider. the fine. If it doesn't have a remote control, I have no <laughs> idea. I embroider Pistol Pete in the middle of this. I did that myself. Um, and then it is for sale. <laughs> now, what, what's, what does that run for? Um, oh, this look! Right here, I, I saw. Oh, what? It's fifty dollars. Um, this is the only one I have right now, and so I can custom make you one and bring like it to the it. next game. I mean, my grandmother's. She's huge, and that would look perfect on her table. That's awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Um, if I can get your. And we love it when Orange dollars. Power comes over and says, oh, "Hey, yeah, we're going to help you out today." There you go. There you go, buddy. Go pokes. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. That's the old logo. This is the old logo. We also have another. This one has pistol Pete embroidered in the quilt, if you can see up here in the corner. OSU, oh, OSU A&M. OSU A&M. But, and, and with the, also with the Bronking uh, Horse logo. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, have you done anything with that? I haven't, but I can. Uh, if, if I can get a picture of it, I can do it. So. If you got a picture, if you I can make picture, it. If I got a picture, I can, so I, how, I can get pretty close. How do people get a hold of you? Um, Send me an email at ghostsandquilting at gmail.com. Can you spell that? Yes, I can. It's G-O-S-S-E-N-Q-U-I-L-T-I-N-G at G-M-A-I-L dot C-O-M. Or you can call me at... Say it one more time. G-O-S-S-E-N-Q-U-I-L-T-I-N-G at gmail.com. Oh, and you had another uh, number? Yeah, and um, my, you can call me also on my phone, and it is 405-740-3714. And my name's Allie, again. So. Go Pokes. Go Pokes. Hey, Matt. I'm not, even though I spent six years at Telemundo Univision. I'm, I'm not the biggest, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, 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 tequila fan. Okay. All right, but Randy, the intoxicologist, once again 
has surprised me uh, beyond my beliefs. This is something I highly recommend if you want to do a, a tequila shot. Don Julio, 1942. Why? Why? Look at the bottle. It's really cool. That's the best tequila I've ever tasted in my life. Why is it so good? Because it's on Yeho. It's been it's been uh, in a in a in a oak barrel for a while. It's been so it's been aged. All right, it's aged. It has a nice smooth taste. Don Julio is the leading. It's the top selling tequila in Mexico, and it's just better. If you drink Patron Silver, you're crazy. This is the one. Absolutely no bite whatsoever. Smooth as silk. And you should actually so you should actually have a little thing of sangria and sip it. You never chug. Unless you're the tailgate. <laughs> so, a little bit of what? Sangrita. What's sangrita? Sangrita is, it's actually, it's a taste of blood. It's a little red drink. It has a pomegranate in it. It's red, so you take a little sip of sangrita and you take a little piece of the drink of tequila. No lime, no salt. Just sip it. Good quality tequila is sip, not the shot.